Mike! 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 That's what all you guys sound like. I've been having a lot of questions about this browser access thing. And frankly, just like usual, the uh, SAP documentation isn't that great. So today I'm going to cover how to install browser access and my foolproof method foolproof method for installing a local connection and also a remote connection. Let's get started. Hey guys, if you like my videos, really quickly you can go to onit.battleshipcobra.com, amazing supplements, use the coupon code SCORPIO for 10% off all your supplements. Me undies, super comfortable underwear, I wear them all the time. Sponsored by them, go to meundies.battleshipcobra.com for 20% off your first order. I have a Crystal Reports for SAP Business One course. Go to crystal.battleshipcobra.com or use the coupon code YouTube2016 for 50% off. I will also have a QR code to send me some Bitcoin. You send me just a few bits or whatever that'd be super awesome i really appreciate it scan the qr code on the screen send me a few bits why not thank you guys so much subscribe like and share and all that good stuff enjoy the rest of this video the first thing you need to know is that you should upgrade to 9.2 pl4 if you're on 0 1 2 3 um, i've tested on most of those versions it just won't work pl4 cleans everything up so if you're editing the sld config xml file to an external address or whatever uh, you don't need to do that anymore so the first thing you want to do is get your pl4 unpacked and then in the packages client SAP Gatekeeper installation. Let's do the setup here. Next, just do all the default stuff. So this is my computer name. You could use an IP, of course, but I'm just going to use my computer name. So that's going to be HTTPS, Mike Think, port 8100. So you want to scan the port. I'll put the port scanning code below. Just run the port scanning code in the command prompt, and then you'll know that 8100 is clear. You should do that before. I already know 8100 is clear. Um, you just want no results when you run the um, port scan. And again, code below in the description. I'm just going to use a self-signed certificate. I'm going to use a redirected domain. So it's harder to do a self-signed certificate. And there's a bunch of different scenarios. If you host your own website, obviously, it's very easy. Um, it's not free, but uh, the only thing it does is it removes the security prompt. So I'm just going to go with the self-signed certificate. If anybody wants a specific scenario, please comment in the comments below, and maybe I'll do that, but probably not. Okay, so the SLD example here, um, I like to go to the License Manager, click Settings, click Configure Security, and um, then it'll bring you to here. I like to use this one. I don't know. This is what I do. So I used to use Control Center. It always works for me. Enter your password. Do 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 cha cha cha. Waiting for the instant. Singing is not required, but did I mention today is my birthday? If you guys could subscribe, like, share, use a Bitcoin, whatever, that'd be sweet. Ba da da finished. So once you're finished, you want to log in here. Ba 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 ba. Services. So this is the browser access service. It's registered. If it's not registered, push add. So this is the default. I'm going to click here. Because it's a self signed certificate, you're going to get a warning like this. This happens to be Chrome. Advanced. Proceed. So we have this here. And you may have to restart your browser access service. In my case, I didn't, but you might have to restart your uh, SLD service and your browser access service. Usually warns you. OK, so you have all your stuff here. Looks good. So this is only accessible internally. 
So that's all good. So this is working fine. We're going to switch back to our system landscape directory and we want to do an external address mapping. Okay, so this is where everybody gets screwed up and I do not know why SAP did not use this in, or put this information into this documentation. So I'll link this document below. It talks a little bit more about the certificates and stuff, honestly, like, I don't want to say too many, too many bad things about this, but I wish it was just easier. They did a video, simple video like this, uh, just to make things simple for everybody to install. But whatever. Okay, so what you need to do is register this in external system landscape directory. What I did was I added an A name record for SAP on my battleshipcobra.com domain, and I forwarded it to my IP at my external IP address. Okay, so I mapped this to my external IP and then I'm using HTTPS sap.battleshipcobra.com on the 30010-30010 port. So I've mapped the 30010 port from the outside to my machine and I've made sure that I've done a firewall exception for that port so that the information can go from the outside world to this machine on this particular URL. Okay, and then the next step is critical and you have to leave off control center. Do not put the control center there. Just your HTTPS Domain. This can be your your IP too. You don't have to have this as your external or as your external URL. I just happen to like this, and this is what it will show. But if you don't mind putting your your URL there, it doesn't matter. But you could just put your um, your special code there, your special domain. So you can call this whatever you want. I just called it sap.battleshipcover.com. So now you have to register your browser access service through your external address mapping. So I'm going to use HTTPS forward slash forward slash slash SAP battleshipcobra.com port 443. So I used port 443. 443 from the outside world to 8100 in your internal network on this machine. So you can see it's taking, I went to my router or you can have your IT people do a port forward from port 443 in the external world right to port 8100 internally. You can do a one-to-one -one if you want. I just see a lot of people doing this 443. Okay, That's it. You don't need dispatcher on there. You don't need anything. Just do exactly what's there. So to apply the changes, you must restart the SAP Business One Browser Access Service. So I'm going to go to my service. I'm going to go down here, SAP Business One Browser Access Gatekeeper. Start it up. You can also do restart. I don't know why I did stop and start. OK, and now you can test this externally. So I, in this case, I'm going to open remote desktop. So we're going to go to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash then our address there slash dispatcher push OK. You're going to get this same SSL certificate error. You just have to kind of confirm it one time. So advanced proceed and boom. So this is uh, remotely from another machine. So I can log in here, manager, super secret password there. And you can see my address is sap.battleshipcobra.com. So that looks really cool. So it could be, you know, s remote remote.yourcompany.com. And you could do everything here. So sales, sales quote, go to a quote, print preview. Loads up my quote here, just like you would expect. So I have basically full access from an external location. So that is basically it. You install it, follow my steps. You're in the landscape directory here. Your internal services are mapped to these ports, 8100 to 8100. 
30,010 to 30,010. This is where they live internally. External address mapping, you have the system landscape directory is on the same port, so I left it on the same. So 30,010 needs to be mapped externally to 30,010 internally. 443 in the external world needs to be mapped to port 8100 internally. Do not put the control center here and do not put dispatcher here. This is all that you have to do to get a basic setup of your browser access to start using it today. Thank you guys so much. See you in the next video. Stress. <laughs> stress, stress, stress. Stress. Ah, uh, hey. <laughs>